Barklow. I'm a horticulturist for the city of Greenwood and we're in the greenhouse today. We have a, we have three greenhouses. We have one for the topiaries. It had to be very tall to hold Gertie the giraffe. And then we have our old hoop house. We call it the hoop house. And we, grew, we grow a lot of our landscape plants in there. And here is in this greenhouse that we're in today is where we do a lot of our propagation. One of the problems we sometimes run into when we're doing uh, growing plants in the greenhouse is pests like to get them too. So we, uh, we sometimes have mealy bugs that will get in on some of our succulents. They like to hide in there. And we also get aphids and they come in all different colors. I don't know if any of you are familiar with aphids, but they come in all different colors. And they sometimes get in here and get on some of our plants. And so what we do is we don't like to use chemicals. We're a Bee City USA, and so the whole idea behind growing our own plants is to keep them safe for pollinators, but also to keep us safe and to keep the environment safe and not to use toxic chemicals. So what we do is we actually order bugs that eat the pests. I know that sounds like science fiction, but we do. So one of the uh, little animals we use to do that is this uh, lacewing larva. And they are amazing little critters and they're very, very tiny. They're probably, I guess, you know, really almost the size of an ant, a small ant when we get them. And when, after they've eaten a bunch of aphids, they get quite large. And they have been known to bite humans, but um, they haven't bitten me yet, so we're friends. So anyway, but we release them in the plants and we get a big jar of them and they're in, um, they're in a certain, I see how many's in here. There's a thousand of them in here. And we just kind of, you know, shake them out on the plants and a certain ones that we have labeled that have aphids on them. So that's one of them. And another one is called Cryptoforce. And it's actually looks just like a ladybug, but it's black with an orange head. And I think it has an orange butt, I'm not sure. It doesn't show it in this picture. But uh, we get a hundred of those, and they eat mealybugs, and they love mealybug eggs too, so they get the eggs before they even start to do damage as mealybugs. So, and this one's really, um, really fun, but they're easy to see because they're about as big as ladybugs. And uh, this one here is a parasite of aphids, and it's a tiny, tiny wasp, almost the small, as the lid on the end of your pencil. That's how tiny it is. And they go around and they lay eggs in the aphids and, and, and they deposit it inside of it. And when the egg hatches into the little larva, it eats the aphids insides. And so then it takes a, a little, it, it turns into a wasp and cuts a little hole and flies out and goes and gets an aphid. So they keep going. We try to keep nectar plants for them so they can get some quick energy while they're going around and killing all our aphids. And so we have a plant here that they actually love. The aphids love it. And we have quite a few aphid mummies on here. And they just, and some of them even have the little exit holes. And when you when you see them on here, so they're busy doing their work, and we just lay, we have never had to do anything else to this plant to prevent the pests from eating on it. So, so that's how we keep our plants pest free without using toxic pesticides. All right, thanks for coming in the greenhouse.